On a blustery Saturday afternoon at the end of January, approximately 1,000 people gathered at the former Hunts Pier to bid farewell to a cherished piece of Wildwood's past. The Golden Nugget was a custom-built roller coaster dark ride that was designed by John C. Allen of the Philadelphia Toboggan Company. This one-of-a-kind attraction first opened in 1960 and is believed to have entertained over 1.7 million people. Although the ride has not been in operation since 1998, many in attendance at the event remember riding it as if it were yesterday. I spent uh, one week every year with my family in Wildwood. My dad actually did the same thing, and we always rode the Gold Nugget. And I remember the part where it went totally dark, and the guy and the girl popped out of the car. Totally scared me every time. The bats, the flying bats, of course the spinning tunnel of Golden Nuggets. Um, they had a, a covered wagon on, on the rooftop that had the cow head sticking out. Um, Hunts pure or bust, you know, that was just, you know, that, that, those things stand out. Well, just where the water is, where the water comes down, you think you're going to get wet, and then it stops. And then that one where the thing goes around, you think you're going to tip over, you know. I know we got my mother on there, but she's about 80 some years old now, and she used to work down here. We got her on one time, she screamed the whole time she was on there. The Maurice Piers Company currently owns the pier and decided to host the ceremony to give a proper farewell to a ride that they themselves have fond memories of. I was uh, born in '60. The ride was uh, the ride was really active when I was a kid. So this was my uh, this was my Disneyland, Jersey Shore. The Morris have owned the former Hunts Pier since 2000 and had originally planned on restoring the Golden Nugget, but the deteriorated condition of the ride, along with the expense of bringing the ride up to current standards, proved to be more than the company wanted to undertake. The decision to remove the ride, however, was an emotional one. Uh, well, it was it was hard. It was painful. Quite frankly, it's it's still painful. And after today, it's even you know it's even more painful. We know that it's the right thing to do, um, but that doesn't mean it uh, hurts any less. The Moorys were not the only ones emotional about the loss of the Golden Nugget. It's really sad. I mean, it's everybody's going for all the roller coasters and stuff like that. You really don't see too many dark rides like that. Too many theme dark rides like that. It's a sad sad thing and every year I come back it's going to be a missing part of Wildwood to me. Uh, it is a shame. It, it's a shame to come down here and, and see you know Hunts Pier in total how, how it's become. You know it's nothing like it used to be. At a little before noon excitement filled the air as the gates to the pier were opened and people were permitted to walk back toward the Golden Nugget. Along the way souvenirs were handed out. These mementos included sections of the lift chains, tracks, and banister spindles from the actual ride. Each part had a small plaque commemorating the nugget. Also handed out were commemorative mine hats and wooden coins. The back of the golden nugget had been opened up for the ceremony so that attendees could enter the ride. Once inside the hollowed out ride, people could take pictures with actual props, sit inside one of the old mine cars, and even watch video of the ride when it was in operation. There were also several pictures on display of the Golden Nugget during the heydays of Hunts Pier. At approximately 12.30, the official ceremony started with a welcome by Jack Morey. At first, Mr. Morey was concerned about the large group giving forgiveness to his company for deciding to remove the cherished attraction. Oh, the other ground rules, I'm glad it's cold, that way they'll probably keep your shoes on, don't throw them at you. <laughs> But soon, it became apparent that the Moorys were sincere about their respect for the once great ride. And then for years, this great building sat, and uh, nobody knew what was going to happen to it. Um, we came along in, uh, not until 2000, and we looked at it, we wanted to keep it, we tried everything that we could imagine from reinventing it where it was, moving it to another pier, creating a museum, uh, turning it into a special events facility, because it was more than just a ride, it was also a piece of a landscape, and it was a building, it was really, it was really many, many things. Um, in the end, uh, obviously we decided that uh, it was time to say farewell, it was time to, it was time to move on. The first guest speaker was Kristen Steindl, granddaughter of the late William D. Hunt. Mr. Hunt, along with his brother, Guy Hunt, owned and operated Hunt's Pier up until 1985. Although Hunt's Pier is long gone and the Golden Nugget will soon be leaving Wildwood's landscape, the innovation of my grandfather and those he employed should never be forgotten. 
Those are the inv individuals who brought Hunts Pier to life, and from the bottom of my heart and the gold nugget, I thank them. Next to speak was Tom Rebbe from Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters, the company contracted to build the ride back in 1960. Yeah, this has been one of the rides that's always been intriguing that, to me, that uh, it's uh, it, it, the way it was built, the way it, it, it's a roller coaster, it's a fun house, it's, it's both, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I never came down to, uh, and rode it when I was a kid. John Allen IV, the son of the Golden Nuggets designer, the late John Allen III, spoke about his father's pride for the custom ride. In reality, he preferred the small rides, the small coasters, and designed three of those. One was in Willow Grove Park, one was the flyer here on the pier, and then what... That's our way. At the, the wine ride is what we call it, and the family was the third one. And I think of all the coasters he designed, the mine ride may have been his favorite. And one of the reasons for that was it was a small coaster which a family of all ages could ride. And that's what he wanted to do, to provide fun for the families. Rick Davis, a founder of Daffy, the dark ride and funhouse enthusiast, shared some facts about the Golden Nugget. It was a joint venture of two of the giants of the industry, John Allen of the Philadelphia Toboggan Company, Bill Tracy of Amusement Displays. It was one of a kind. It was part roller coaster, part dark ride, and totally unique. Supposedly, the Hunts and John Allen had a handshake agreement that PTC would never ever build another ride like this again, ensuring that this was going to be a unique ride until today. Last to speak was Adam Revis from Ace, the American Adam coaster enthusiast. The Golden Nugget was my palace, my escape, my favorite thing as a child on vacation. Admittedly, the Keystone Cops frightened me. <laughs> Somehow my parents had convinced me that I had to drive the vehicles or I would crash into the scene. I guess I was just a bit too young to realize the rails would keep me on track. Opposite of that, however, I love the wacky shop and the pirate ship and the flyer, but nothing compared to my love for the Nugget. I must have asked my parents 50 times during the course of a week-long vacation to ride it. I realize now how truly blessed I was because my parents mostly obliged. It was a true landmark in the Wildwoods for almost 50 years. To the casual Wildwood vacationer, this Western-themed structure is seemingly out of place. But to the Wildwood regular, it will only be out of place once the final structural member is torn down, never to be seen again. The ceremony ended with a presentation of parts of the Golden Nugget track and loading station to the guest speakers, as well as closing remarks by Will Morey. You know, we're not going to try to duplicate the Golden Nugget. This is a classic. This is a one-off. In my view, there will never be anything better, you know, given the size uh, and, uh, and design of the Golden Nugget. But we are going to push forward and try to bring a new classic to the Jersey Shore. And I want you to know that your attendance today the enthusiasm that I see here today and the warmth that I see here today will just be ever more the catalyst to see that we invest ourselves in doing that even to a greater degree than we had planned. After the ceremony, guests gathered in the Piers Maintenance Office building for light refreshments including clam chowder and soft pretzels. On display was a model and computer rendering of a proposed custom roller coaster that will span two piers and encompass the former location of the Golden Nugget. Our goal is really to build the sort of the largest critical mass of amusement equipment that we can, uh, not just on the East Coast but in the world, and do that in such a way that allows for a free flow of people going you know, back and forth, north to south. Um, Huntspear as an independent uh, amusement facility, uh, I don't think there's a future in that, but I think there's a great future in using a lot of the deck space for the, uh, for the brand new coaster that we're planning. Um, so our plan would be to integrate it, the entrance into the original Maury's Pier, but the majority of the roller coaster would actually be uh, where we are right now. Although many in attendance were excited about the proposed custom roller coaster, others had their own ideas of what they would like to see replace the Golden Nugget. Without a doubt, you know, something that's, you know, similar. I mean, I know people are saying, ah, oh, faster, bigger, you know, something loops and stuff like that. 
to me, you know, I would keep it quaint, keep it a destination, not make it like anything else. I would like to see another ride similar to it. You know, to carry on the, the, you know, the heritage of it. I, I would like another dark ride, another haunted house. I love haunted houses, so they're my favorite. Second would be the roller coasters. What would you like to see replace the Golden Nugget? Oh. Another Golden Nugget? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I felt A it. replica! <laughs> but all will not be lost of the Golden Nugget. Many of the salvage props will be donated to the Wildwood Historical Society or be used in other Maurice Piers attractions. Also, the Golden Nuggets track and trains were removed by Knobles Amusement Park from Ellysburg, Pennsylvania. Well, in the uh, sort of in the closing minutes before the final decision, um, Knobles came through and was able to uh, um, sort of believe that he could uh, refit the, the uh, tracks and the train. Um, so we have a handshake, a gentleman's agreement, and, uh, and off it went. Those in attendance were sad about the loss of the nugget, but pleased that the Maury's gave it a proper farewell. I actually thought it was not quite thoughtful, though it was very cold. I just, it was better that they actually came out and brought everybody and gave everybody a chance to say goodbye instead of just tearing it down without anybody's thoughts on the topic. I thought the whole day went really well and the Maury's did um, everything they possibly could to save the nugget and I thought they did a great job today bringing it all together for a final goodbye. Well, I thought it was a wonderful tribute to a wonderful ride that many of us enjoyed in our childhood, in our teen years, and as adults, we're glad to see that the spirit of the Nugget is well, well treasured today. And we see you're holding something there. What exactly is that that you're holding? I believe this is a part of the railing that when you entered the ride, after you paid your ticket, this was a series of rails that were right along there in a lovely lilac. <laughs> Kristen Steindel, granddaughter of former Hunt's Pier owner, the late William D. Hunt, was touched that so many people came out to celebrate the legacy of the Golden Nugget. Uh, it was unbelievable. I was glad that there were so many people here, but I was also very frightened and scared and nervous, like to say my whole and speech and stuff. But, you know, I knew that I was among friends and people that really loved this ride. And, you know, it was really great. I was like really blown away by so many people that really, you know, connected with this ride, connected with Hunts Pier. Although it's the end of the line for this historic Jersey Shore attraction, it is comforting to know that a new, one-of-a-kind roller coaster may soon take its place. And as for the Golden Nugget, it may, at least in part, be reborn in a new location where it can entertain a new generation of thrill-seekers. Reporting for DarkInThePark.com, this is Bill Cherkasky.